Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. So today I have my empties from the month of June, which I know I'm way behind with. Um, I am just gonna combine it all into one video. I have quite a lot of candles. Um, I think more candles than wax melts, so I feel like it's just gonna be easier to do one video as opposed to two like eight minute videos. Um, anyway, let's just get into it. For starters, I have Sand and Sea from Bath and Body Works. This was so strong up till the very end. Um, this smelled like, like, I don't know how to describe it. It's nothing that's in here in the scent description, which is fresh sea breeze, soft sage, and golden sand. Um, it's like somewhat cologne almost incense-y. Really good though, I really enjoyed it. I had it in my front entry, um, which is a fairly large space, and it did great in there, because it was too strong really for like any other room. It was like a 15 out of 10 throw. That was a strong ass candle. Definitely more like elevated, complex type of scent, but really, really nice. I enjoyed it. Another one I love is Stormwatch from Yankee Candle. I think this is discontinued, which makes me really sad because this is a phenomenal scent and it's so good on a rainy day. It really does smell like the earth right after a storm. Mm, it's so good. It's so good, it's so fresh. Um, throw is phenomenal on it. It's such a nice, strong thrower. Totally would repurchase if I ever saw it on the website. Like I said, I don't think they make it anymore. I think I have one backup of it that I'm really like taking my time using because it's just it's amazing. I wish I had more of it. I finished, oh no, this, why is this in my empties as it is completely full? <laughs> Oops. Um, I finished this Harlem Candle Company. I love this company. Um, if you've never ordered from them, I highly, highly, highly recommend checking them out, specifically this scent, um, which is called Lennox. It's the only scent I've tried from them, but I've repurchased it twice. I have two backups of this. Um, this is a great, look, it burns all the way to the very end. This is a great luxury candle for people who want luxury candles but don't want to spend so, so much. Um, not that it's cheap by any means. I think it was like 40 or $48 as opposed to the diptyques that are 60. Um, and this is, I believe, 12 ounces? Yeah, 12 ounces. Um, and the diptyque candles, I think, are only like six ounces, six or eight ounces. They're tiny. So this is way, almost like double the size of a diptyque candle. It's a fairly large candle for a luxury brand. Um, I forgot what the scent description is on this exactly, but it, to me, it smells like fresh apples. Um, Fresh apples, but just like clean and fresh. It's really, really good. It smells really similar to um, the So White scent from Lush, kind of like that type of apple, but then like a little bit creamier because there's also vanilla and I believe coconut in this. Um, it's just a great elevated, fresh, sophisticated scent. Um, throw is not crazy strong. It's more of a subtle throw, but you can absolutely smell it. It does have two wicks. So again, unlike the Diptyque candle that has a single wick, this had two wicks. I had no problem with it pulling out. It did soot a little bit, but that doesn't bother me. Um, no problem pulling out, like very even burnt, really like just a phenomenal, phenomenal candle. I have to try more scents from this company. Um, I really do, but I have this as a recommendation from a friend on Instagram who had messaged me and was like, I know you love candles. I just started buying these Harlem Candle Company candles. They're fucking amazing. I think you'd love it. And this was the scent that she recommended off of me liking the Diptyque Bay candle. And I was like, okay, if you say it's good, I'll try it. I tried it. I like literally fell in love with it. Like I've been talking about it so much. Like I said, I've repurchased two backups of this already. Um, it's one that I pull out when I have company over. It's also beautiful. Like it looks gorgeous. It matches my house. This jar is not totally opaque, so you can see the flame through. I highly, highly, highly recommend it. I really do. It's It was just great. Um, and like you can get the candles based on like your interior design because they're all different colors. So like there's a black one, there's a white one, there's a red one, there's a green one. Like there's all different colors of the jar and label and they're just stunningly beautiful. I am not gonna be throwing out that jar. I'm definitely gonna keep and repurpose it. Hold on, my sneeze. <coughs> oh my gosh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I felt that like coming up. So yeah, Harlem Candle Company, amazing. Highly recommend trying them, great luxury brand. Um, I finished Juicy Watermelon from Yankee Candle. I love this one. I think this is the second time I've had this. This is so strong. It's such a great juicy watermelon scent. Mm. 
It's a little candy, like it's not super authentic watermelon, but it is just so good. And I was really sad when I was finished with this one because it's phenomenal. I love it. I really do. It's great. It fills up the room. Like I can't believe for like a simple scent like watermelon how strong this is, but it really is. And it's just great in the summertime. I just freaking love it. I don't even know if they still make it. If they do, I would repurchase it. I finished Good Vibes Only from Bath & Body Works, which this is sugarcane, nectarine, and sandalwood. It was great. I loved it. This was super, super strong. A nice, fresh, like typical Bath & Body Works, like fruity, fresh, endless weekend type of vibe type of scent. Um, I loved it. I don't really love this label. I had it with the back turn, so it was just a plain white candle burning, um, but it was great. Nice, like fresh scent, great when you have people over, like a non-offensive type of scent. I'm just gonna take a sip of coffee. Um, I really, really enjoyed it. I would repurchase it. I don't know what the hell scent it was, but I would get it again. Just the throw on it was like great. And then I have a couple smaller candles, quite a few smaller candles. Before I get into these four little guys, I'll just talk about this one big one. Maybe I will, no, this is still kind of short. I think I'll do this all in one video because I do have quite a bit of wax in here. I finished Pomegranate Lemonade, which I loved when I first got this a couple years ago. Um, but this year I just kind of finished it in a room that I wasn't inside. This was just a little too much for me. Very strong, definitely like a fizzy drink type of scent that I've just kind of burnt myself out on. So yeah, I wouldn't repurchase it, but it was a great strong throw. I have these guys, I finished pistachio cream. This was super strong. I had this going in my bedroom and it scented up the whole bedroom. This was really, really strong. Um, their pistachio scent is really good. It's like a nice nutty bakery, like amaretto type of pistachio, really, really good. I enjoyed that. Um, tobacco flower, I like the way this smells, but this little guy had no throw. I had this in my bathroom and it just smelled like nothing. Like I said, these four ounces are hit or miss for me, but for the most part, they are hit. They typically do do pretty well, but of course, like every now and then, you're gonna get a dud like that, and that was a dud. Um, I finished Waikiki Beach Coconut. This was not a dud. This was super duper strong. I had this in my laundry room, and it scented up the entire laundry room, like all the way up the stairs to the bathroom by it. Like, this was great. I would totally repurchase this in a four ounce, and it burnt fairly evenly. Like, they never burn this down to the bottom. This was a great one. Thoroughly enjoyed it. I finished Salt Flower. This was really good. My husband loved this one. And again, this one also burned really well. Clean, even right down to the bottom. Um, we had this one in our master bathroom when we were getting ready, and it was so good. We both loved this scent. Ocean Air and Orchids. Um, it's just really fresh. Really fresh, crisp, clean. Almost kind of smells like a lotion, like a shower wash lotion. Um, really, really, really good. I really loved it. I would totally repurchase that. I wish they had that in a three wick. I would burn it all throughout my house. It was fucking great. All right, so if you're only here for candles and you don't want to see the wax, you can leave now. Um, if you want to watch my wax reviews, I'll get into that. Plus, I have two wallflowers. So, what? I don't, yeah, I think I have enough wax to see this one video. So, these were the same Tiki Beach. This is a phenomenal wallflower. I do have, I think, a couple more of these. I actually have this going right now. It's right over there in that little guy, if you can see him. Um, that's Tiki Beach, and that smells great in here. Um, I uh, purchased the Tiki Beach wallflower because my friend had it, and I was in her apartment, and I was like, whoa, your place smells so good. Like, what wax do you have on? And she's like, I don't have any wax on yet. It's the Tiki Beach wallflower, and I was like, oh shit. So I like literally went and bought it right after I left her apartment because it was so good and so strong, and it did the same for my house. Really love it. I finished Rainbow Shave Ice. This was really good. This was a good scent. It just wasn't that strong for me, so I wouldn't repurchase it. Not like I can because my Walmart closed down and I have to drive like 40 minutes north to reach a Walmart, which I did with my friend over Christmas because I think Walmart is great to go to for cheap Christmas decorations, wrapping paper, gift bags, and then of course I bought a whole sleeve of the lavender sugar and the pine scented wax melts. I really love their pine wax scents. So I wouldn't like go out of my way to repurchase that, but like maybe once a year I'll make my pilgrimage to Walmart and stock up on some wax. Um, from Zape, I finished Naughty Housewife. This was really good. For a laundry scent, I really enjoyed it. You definitely got more of the other notes, the juicy berries, like a fruitiness. This was really good. I would even repurchase it. And I'm kind of burnt out on laundry scents, so that's saying a lot. And it was nice and strong. Oh yeah, this is good. It almost smells like laundry mixed with love spell, which that may be what it is. 
But that's exactly what it smells like to me. Laundry and love style, and they go great together. I finished of each night's type from Sassy Girl Aroma. Phenomenal, I love this. Have repurchased this several times. Crazy strong throw, crazy strong. Smells exactly like the lotion from Bath & Body Works. It's just all around amazing. I finished also from Sassy Girl Aroma Capri type. I think this was supposed to be a volcano type and it wasn't. It was kind of weird. I didn't love this one. Um, it was kind of weird. It wasn't a very strong, oh, no, it was, it was a really strong throw. Um, I just didn't care for the scent so I wouldn't repurchase it. Finished Satsuma and Olive from Rose Girls from one of the Smell My Boxes and this was amazing. I loved it. These two went phenomenal together. The Satsuma was really good. It wasn't super strong. It was about a six and a half, seven, but it was enough to smell it and I enjoyed it and would repurchase that scent combo. Um, Centerfold, was this, I think this was Sex Bomb type. Yeah, this is a dupe of Lush's Sex Bomb and it was amazing. Um, when I first, first, first got into wax, what got me into wax was Lush dupes. And I used to have Sex Bomb like throughout my apartment. So this was like really nostalgic for me and I really enjoyed it and it was super strong. I would definitely repurchase that. It was really, really good. A few more. I finished from Vintage Cheek Scents Grandma's Pearls. I finished this in the bathroom, of uh, the bathroom, the bedroom. It's just lavender marshmallow, but it's the most perfect lavender marshmallow. It smells very similar to the Bath & Body Works lavender marshmallow candle. Um, I love it, my husband loved it. It was great in the bedroom, great to fall asleep to. Uh, would have repurchased it. I think I've repurchased it. That was like my third or fourth order of Grandma's Pearls and I would absolutely get it again because it's a great throw and it's a great scent. I finished Sassy Girl Aroma's Grape Nahi. This literally just smelled like grape juice, which I like grape scents, so I liked it. Um, also from Sassy Girl, Fruits, Melons, and Berries. I didn't like this one. I don't really like melon scents. And this literally just smelled like cantaloupe, um, so not my favorite. Those are both very strong. Okay, five clamshells, and bam, we are done with this empty. I finished Pink Wild Berry Mint. This is another one that I melted exclusively in my bedroom at night. This is a great scent to fall asleep to from Southbound. Amazing. I really, really like this and I would repurchase it. Um, two Sugar Lavender, like I said. These are the ones from Walmart I literally went and bought a sleeve of. It's like one of my favorite scents. It's literally just a dupe of pink sugar, but it's, it's great. I love it. Um, I would repurchase this. Like I said, when I go back to Walmart, I'll probably get another whole sleeve of it. Um, actually, when I run out of that, I may make a pilgrimage to Walmart sooner than later just for that scent because it's so good. I love pink sugar. I melt it all the time. It's great. So finishes Violet Sugar, um, also from Walmart Sensationals. Um, there are the scent notes there. Um, didn't really love this one. I just kind of finished up with sake of finishing it in a room I wasn't in. Um, wouldn't repurchase it, but I know a lot of people really enjoy that scent. Same thing with Pink Velvet. This is like a lemon bakery scent. Um, even though it says like sugar and vanilla, it's lemon bakery, um, which I've kind of burnt myself out on. I'm not a big fan of lemon bakery. Uh, not bad, but it's just not my favorite type of scent, so I wouldn't repurchase. So that is it. That is quite the empties. That is my June empties for y'all. Hope you enjoyed. Thank you for watching. I'm um, sorry I like switched up the location here, <laughs> um, but I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys.